There's really no safe like Simply Safe. Are you okay over there? Ooh, okay, everyone's going on in. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox. I'm going to Round Top, Texas, and I am bringing you all along with me. I have been dreaming of this moment for quite a while now, probably for a solid two years since purchasing my home. I really got invested in antiques. This is a 1929 Spanish style house. So when I purchased this home, I wanted to find pieces that looked like they could have been from that time period or were authentically from that time period, whether they were architectural salvage, furniture, decor, whatever it was, lighting, lots of different elements I needed to add to this home. And throughout the journey of transforming this space, we have been thrifting, antiquing, flea marketing. I share vlogging and going out and shopping all the time with you. But today we are heading to Round Top, Texas. And if you've never heard of it, let me give you the rundown. This is going to be my first time going to Round Top, so I absolutely have no idea what to expect. I don't know the price points of anything. I don't know if things are more affordable, things are more expensive. I do know Round Top's been more popularized over the years, but it's definitely an area that I see a lot of my favorite designers going and shopping at, which I'm assuming for their clients or for their websites or projects that they're working on. But I'm someone that can absolutely appreciate just unique finds, even if I'm not purchasing anything because I'm bringing only a suitcase with me. So I'm going to be able to bring maybe a few little trinkets get the items back or who knows I might even find something that we will be needing to ship back so we shall see packing this afternoon and then heading out tomorrow morning and I want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor because they have kept my home secure and safe for the past four years I have been using simply safe if you've never heard of simply safe before they are really the most modernized user-friendly and design forward home security system I love how seamlessly it kind of blends into your house you don't even know it's there but at the same time you have the peace of mind that your home is safe all your belongings are safe or even your family safe inside. I'm gonna get to packing, share a little more info on Simply Safe in case you are interested, and then we're heading to Round Top. And if you're someone that travels a bunch or you just like that peace of mind in your home, Simply Safe is absolutely the home security system for you because it is such a no-brainer home security system that seamlessly blends in with your decor, which we all love. Within like an hour, I had my entire home fully set up with Simply Safe. Every single door and every window was completely alarmed up with sensors and cameras for absolutely every corner of your house, including smoke detectors, entry alarms, HD cameras for both indoor and outdoor. There's just absolutely everything to make sure that your home is fully 360 protected. And now that I'm a homeowner, I definitely like to keep an eye on my property or my house when I'm away, so I love being able to check on the camera. I can also see Winston on there. And with Simply Safe's exclusive 24-7 live guard protection and smart alarm indoor cameras, you can actually have a Simply Safe expert agent act within five seconds of receiving an alarm signal, rapidly assessing the situation and taking immediate steps to ensure your family's safety. And thankfully, over the years, I haven't had any problems at all. However, I know that Simply Safe has my back if I do have an issue. So if you're in the market, definitely check out Simply Safe using my link. It is simplysafe.com slash alonefox to customize your own and save 20% off your security system when you tap that link. Because there's really no safe like Simply Safe. Are you okay over there? Oh, it's literally pouring rain. <laughs> We've made it in. Already kind of swooning over this blue hutch back here. Sometimes I hope that maybe I won't like something, but I always tend to like everything. Oh, the screen table right here. Oh, this, look at this. So pretty. You already have one step away. I know. I honestly like mine the most though, I think. Oh, that's mine right there. That's it. It's so similar. It is. That one has like dogs though. Mine has birds. Your has, and the little, ca yours has the little castle. Oh, and the castle, yes. The castle. Yeah. Ooh, you guys, look at the Spanish light. With the little balls on the ends. I 
love, love, love this light here. It is a English copper hanging lantern and it would have been on like a post like you know like a, just like a lamp post light but they converted it into a hanging pendant but something like this in my stairwell would be so pretty this one's already sold um, plus I could not even get this home so this cabinet is so pretty get these 15th century wallpaper panels they're only oh 18th century sorry 15k but they're so so pretty and I'm seeing a bunch of tapestries here you guys which is a good sign we love a tapestry so we have made it to our next little location we're gonna check out this entire tent that we are in which is the second one in the big red barn also look at how cute these little frames are it's like art deco style frames I love this one this little curvy detail and this is me peeking around the corner. This next location we are heading into is Billmore Antiques. Look at this trunk over here. I love. Oh, that's such a good chair. Wow. Look at that little table. Someone threw mud on our car. So rude. But we are at Market Hill now, and we're going to this one here, Amelia Tarbet, and maybe some of these other ones. This is a great easel, you guys, look at that. Oh, that coffee oh, table. Yeah. Oh, these are some good that pine like, chairs. That looks like ours. Look at this tramp art table. So cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like popsicle sticks. These are all little sticks. This edge. Wow. Look at those chairs. So many pretty things. That table is so good on top. This wood one, yes. <laughs> Look at this tent we just found and the owner is missing. So we are just in here by ourselves. Look at all of this Danish furniture. So beautiful. All of these different chairs that they have. Their sets. Look at all of these studio pottery pendants. Justin. This is all handmade. So beautiful. Wow. Still just a baby. Oh, he just said something to you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. From the field this morning, we're at Marburger Farms, which looks like this. It's a pretty big event here at Round Top, and this is my first time ever going here, but there's a ton of people, I don't know if you can tell, waiting for it to open in about 10 minutes, and then I think we're all just gonna run in, scream, and look for some vintage items. We definitely need some coffee first. So we're going to Clementine Coffee and Cream. Ooh, so pretty. Look at these chairs. Oh no, you are totally fine. Look how pretty these chairs are. 68.50 for the pair. This is what I was mentioning when I got those uh, one chairs for 100 bucks. Lots of art. I think clocks are making a Come back, grandfather clocks. Give me a tour of this cabinet. So good. This armoire, something about it is just making me. I love this. And the size and the color, and how this is darker. 
Cool. And also, perfect shelving. Look at this booth, you guys. I have never seen so many unique furniture pieces. Just so beautiful. Look, look at this light. This mirror. That mirror is so, a little squiggle at the top. This one, Italian, it is, look at this freaking chair. Have you ever seen anything like that? Just so, the scallop sofa. This lamp. Are you kidding me? Let's look at the back. These green leather chairs are so pretty. I love the distressed look and then like the brown leather straps. What are the prices on those ones? I don't, it doesn't say. Oh, 25. Yeah. All of these copper lamps are so beautiful. Look at these ones with like the perforated shade. I love these little brass and copper ones, but this is so, so cute. <laughs> Look at these. This incredible ceramic artist created these beautiful ceramic wall hangings. She does these and they're really not even. I've seen these um, for thousands of dollars online, but she, when they're incredible and the price point of them as well, I'll put her name on the screen because I've never seen them in person, but they're such cool like organic pieces if you guys are interested. I mean, this is nothing I could ever DIY, so. And then it's Fonterre 1991. Uh, let's see the front. Show it off. A fun shade. And I saw it in one second and bought it instantly. That's when you know you need it. Mm -hmm. It's cute. It's cute. I love this. And Oh, yeah, it's super cool. I mean, this one right here says it's. But I don't. That, this could be this, or it could be this. So Look who we found! Casita! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Checkered floor. 125. This is pretty. Got our items. Yes, it's Corks and Pines. All right, guys, we have made it to Enneby Home, which is such a beautiful tour at um, Round Top. Everything's super expensive, but great for inspiration. Good morning everyone, it is round top day three and today we are actually in what's known as the fields which is more so where you kind of have to hunt and dig and everyone kind of has just rows of tents. The other events that we went to the first and second day were kind of more curated stores so some of the ones that sell the more expensive pieces that a lot of designers shop for and a lot of really unique vintage pieces and then we went to Marburger yesterday which also the vendors are a little bit more pricier. Here you could find some great deals. So just got here five minutes ago, I went ahead into this first one everyone's already in there checking it out let's see if we can find some cute items but we don't have too much space left in the suitcase so let me see what I can find So pretty. I love this. Oh. 
Why, hello! It has been a few days actually since I got back from Round Top. Of course, I have to do a little haul video sharing with you guys what I got, but I thought first I would kind of give you a little rundown on my experience, how everything went. Now, Justin and I ended up going together and it was so much fun. Town of Round Top truly is such a small town. Like, it is dead. Like, there's no one there unless you get to the actual kind of, like, main strip area where all of the antique malls and all the antique, like, tents and different stores are. It is a really cute town, though, and we ended up staying just at an Airbnb that was about a 20-minute drive over to where you actually shop at, and I thought it was so much fun. I will say that Round Top, to me, like, how I've kind of always thought of it as is, like, a place where you go to get some great deals. There definitely are far more expensive items, like antiques that are curated, antiques that have been re upholstered or kind of put into like this curated showroom from this brand. There's a lot more of that, but the actual deals are more so out in what's known as the fields. And it's just kind of more of where people have these tents that pop up, they come and it kind of is more of a flea market sort of a feel to it. Like some of the places I shared, like the Big Red Barn and Marburger Farm and even um, the Enneby Home, those are all more expensive. A lot of these vendors are more on the pricier side. So it's a great place if you're going to shop for a bunch of clients or if you're looking for a bunch of pieces for your home or you're moving or you just want inspiration it is perfect for that we actually ended up purchasing a extra kind of carry-on size bag when we were there so we we're able to put some stuff in that and i ended up getting a decent amount of things i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I got ten things let me start off with just what's in front of me i finally got a tramp art box and i'll say i actually did get a pretty good deal on this and i noticed that a lot of these you can absolutely bargain so if you're good at that feel free free too. I'm not the best at it. However, I did get this a little lower than the ticket price was and I love it. It's lined with velvet and with everything I buy, I normally have the intention of using it myself. And then when I don't ever end up using it, that's when it gets put on my shop or added to a vintage drop. I think this could be so cute just even in the living room to store some remotes. I shared this in the video and I love this. It's a pewter vase and it's by the designer Leon Fontier, 1991 it's signed. I've really been into silver right now and it's been such a fun metal and this one just has that really striking appearance to it this one is pewter so you know for the price point i think it was definitely worth it it's a large vessel as well and i got it for 100 instead of 125 which was pretty good and then it has these little kind of bead driplets of metal i got a piece of art and i took this out of the frame that it was in it was kind of just in like a plastic poster frame but the lady had like a hundred of these and i'm assuming they were just all from the same portfolio from like an estate sale but they were pretty good price and i loved the simplicity of this one and it's a good size i liked the patina on the paper and these next items i'm going to share with you i actually ended up purchasing these within five minutes of walking into the big red barn so it was like my first five minutes at round top i purchased these and in my head i was like i don't even have room anymore like why did I do this but I'm so happy I did because I found nothing that compared to these items throughout the entire rest of the trip so the first thing I got were these sconces they're kind of like a still novo style mid-century Italian brass sconce but how cute are they with the little scallopy edge on them the price was just insane too good not to pass up and also since I bundled the three items together from the girls booth she gave me a better deal I'm gonna save my favorite for last but I also got this piece of art and I mainly got this for the frame. I adore this frame. You guys look at how stunning that is with the kind of texture. It's actually carved into the wood itself, but I just love this frame. I don't love the art. The art is a little odd. I don't really know what it is, you know, but the frame, the frame did it for me. All right. But this is what I mean when I said I filled up all my space in a minute. You guys, look at this table lamp I got. It is beyond beautiful. And I bought this within five minutes of walking in. So that was a little scary for me. It was too good to pass up. I mean, the price point was not bad. It has this huge glass top on it. And I'll pop up the designer on the screen for you. It's like a 1940s German lamp. And when it's actually lit up, the patina on the brass, when it's turned on, it is such a striking lamp. And I just love this mushroom silhouette. Like I could so see this on the back credenza over here. Love how it has this gradient texture. Everyone was joking that there was mold on the inside of it, like when we had it at the Airbnb, but you know what? I don't mind. I think it's so cute. Add some texture to it. Yeah, even the finial on the top, like look how good that brass patina is. 
so pretty. And the last two pieces I got are actually mirrors. This first one here is a French bamboo mirror. You can kind of see the bookshelves in the background. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks cool. This is kind of a faux bamboo style mirror and it's carved out of wood. And these are more traditionally a French mirror. And the vendor that we got them from, she was from Denmark and said that they had traveled to France and got a bunch of them. So we ended up purchasing one because I just loved the way that this looked. I think this would be a great mirror in a powder bath room and entryway. There's a lot of opportunity with this. So I got that one and I did get one more mirror. And keep in mind, we actually packed these mirrors in between our clothes. So this just shows you how good of quality and how much these have withstood over the years. This is a 1950s Italian crest mirror with like a rope detailed edge. And I have seen these at a store in LA here for thousands. Every time I see a mirror like this, it's at least over a thousand dollars. It's just so gorgeous. Even the back kind of shows the age on it and the patina on the brass itself. And I love this silhouette, especially in my Spanish style home. I realized I forgot to share two items. These were what I found when we were searching in the fields. I only found two things because it was definitely um, a lot of randomness. And I found this little picture here. It was 10. I got it for 10. It was marked at 12. But look how cute. It has like a little handle on it. So picked up this and then I also got this little silver trumpety style vase. I love the shape of this. I think it's great for just like some stems. Very classic and cute and yeah. So stamped Germany on the bottom. And that was everything I ended up purchasing while at Round Top. I truly just went more so to get a feel for everything. And the next time I go, I would love to have more of like a mission in mind. Maybe I have a project I'm working for and I can get some shippers in alignment or something and find some really cool furniture pieces because there definitely are some unique pieces. There are some good deals if you stumble upon them here and there. So I definitely can see myself going to Round Top again for sure. It was super inspiring as well. I just saw so many new furniture pieces, silhouettes, designers, all the vendors, everyone I met was just so lovely and just so nice to talk to. So it was a great environment. If you have the opportunity to check out Round Top, I definitely suggest it. And yes, I'll catch you guys all in a new video this Sunday. We are getting back into the swing of things here on the channel. It has been a lot with Winston, I will say. He is a very needy little puppy. But he's doing great and says hello, and I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Bye!